Introduction Ria's mother is out buying grocery. Ria is at home with her one-year-old younger brother, Dhruv. Ria is busy with her homework. She does not see naughty Dhruv slip out of the room. A little while later, Ria hears her brother scream. She rushes out of her room to find Dhruv in the kitchen holding a bleeding finger. She calms Dhruv down, washes and bandages his finger. She calls her mother, explains the mishap, and asks her to return home immediately. In this lesson, you will learn about safety rules and first aid. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to List safety rules for road, bus, home, school. Define first aid. List the do's and don'ts of first aid. Safety. Life is precious. Even a slight carelessness at home, school, playfield, or road can cost us our lives. We can safeguard life by observing some simple safety rules. Safety on road. Accidents occur on roads when we do not follow traffic rules. Some tips to keep ourselves safe on roads are Walk on footpaths Use zebra crossings to cross the road Always hold an elder's hand while crossing the road Before crossing the road, make sure that it is safe to cross by looking to the right, then to the left, and then again to the right. Traffic Lights Traffic signals are meant for our safety when we are on roads. We should always follow them. The red light at the top of the signal tells vehicles to stop. The green light at the bottom signals vehicles to move and the yellow light in the middle tells vehicles to wait. Pedestrians crossing the road must do so when the traffic lights are red. Self-assessment. Ben is on his way to his favorite candy shop on his bicycle. Here are some tips on road safety for Ben. Click on the correct tips. Safety while riding bus. Bus is a means of public transport. An accident involving a bus can take many lives in one go. Therefore, some rules must be followed to make bus travel safe. These rules are Form a queue to get into the bus. Do not push or break the queue. Do not try to get in or out of a moving bus. Do not put your hands and head out of a moving bus. Safety at home. Home is where we live with our loved ones. You can keep your home safe by observing some simple rules. These rules are Do not run up or down the stairs. Use scissors and other sharp-edged tools in the presence of elders. Put things back in their places after use. Do not play with matchsticks. Light firecrackers in the presence of elders. Do not switch on or off an electric gadget with wet hands. And do not touch electrical sockets. Self-assessment. Let's check your knowledge. Select two or false. Safety at school. School is a place where we learn to read, write, play, share and cooperate. You must always obey the rules of the school. Otherwise, there can be serious accidents. The rules that keep us safe in the school are Do not stand on desks. Do not run around in the classroom. Do not hit others. Do not enter laboratories. Inform the class teacher about any injuries, fights or mishaps. First aid. Sometimes accidents occur in spite of taking precautions. We must administer first aid to prevent such accidents from turning serious. 
First aid is help given to an accident victim to provide him temporary but immediate relief. A person who gives first aid must stay calm, wash bleeding wounds and bandage them, not panic, not move a person who has had a fall. Self-assessment. It is time to check what you have learned. Look at the images. They represent the steps involved in first aid given to a person who has accidentally cut his finger. But the steps are all jumbled up. Arrange them in the correct order. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Safety rules are meant for our safety. Safety rules must be followed to avoid accidents. Care must be taken while using knives, scissors, fire and electricity. Traffic rules must be obeyed to avoid road accidents. Rules must be observed while boarding or alighting from a bus. To avoid accidents and injuries in school and classrooms, safety rules must be followed. First aid is help given to an accident victim to provide him temporary but immediate relief.